Well, hello everyone. It's been a while. Quite a while, if I say so myself. But, I am back, and we're back with a uh, game that I've been looking at for a while, uh, called Backbone. I know the uh, previous games I've played, besides <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, were a little more action-oriented, things like that. This one, Detective Noir, plays a raccoon. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And I am very, very interested in it. So, uh, as I set myself up here, I have things to take notes ready, as always. We're gonna get right on into it. And hopefully I will get back into the rhythm of recording and talking to a camera. If anything, if you see me looking at screens, my recording monitor's over here, everything else is here. So, started a, uh, started a new game a few days ago just to make sure it worked. We're gonna start fresh. Gotta learn what this is all about. And I'll adjust my camera as need be. Webcam off for these scenes. Actually, this might go webcamless, or at least this first one, to make sure that I don't wreck my encoder. Use A and D or the arrow buttons to move around. Press E to interact with objects. Press Tab to access detective menu. Perfect. So, you know what that is. Inspect the cork board. I'm a Helen Loader. Or Lotor. Taught me everything I know. And I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. The only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools and leaving places they shouldn't be in. Ah, Pianetti. You beautiful, dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Where most of our food is grown in the greenery. Widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a hard, not a bad life, really. No one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories are cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. Lower middle class vile. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there, on the border with the West End. Where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Ah, gas town, that's the dream. What if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad? It is nice and clean, though. Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls, I've not been for a long time. Home to the high and mighty, skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Hmm, so we got a nice overview of our area. Looks like behind that film it says Vancouver Harbor, so we must be somewhere, probably Vancouver, in Canada. As you know, that'd be the west side. Case files. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably bend some of these old cases. Gotta say, this does run very smoothly. Use the mouse button to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. I got food. <laughs> Dangly feet. Anything else? Did I just pick up a bowl of food? Inventory. Dirty dishes. I can do them or hide them from my client. I got dishes. Let's see. There's the door. Control to crouch. For those sneaky moments. Living room. Let's go there. Media set. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So never. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Good note. 
Leaving photo developers in this kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. I think what we can see of it looks pretty nice. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Go to the toilet. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Small toilet read. Anything else in a crapper? Ali Graham said it best. Enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. Go back to the office. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Apparently I did pick up those chemicals, so good on me. That must be Mrs. Green. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone? So let's see. Got the application from you, Mrs. Green, at your service. That's me. I feel like a not your service is okay. That's not too brief or coarse. Um, Juku told my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please, Odette is fine. You got it. How can I help you today? I understand this thing is a routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Have you tried to talk to him about it? Yes, but it gets difficult, like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. I, I work better when I know everything. I need details. Okay. I'd, I'd rather really keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lotor. Tell me how you caught on to the affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Um, skipping what kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant, a kind of herbal stink. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. Ask what he was doing. It didn't go well. Skipping work? I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. Let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? Well, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears sick glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Uh, where would I find him usually? I mean, usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and a hat for him today. And what's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life writing on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't let me down, Mr. Motor. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. All right. The new objective is to track Jeremy Green and find evidence of his infidelity that Odette could use in court. 
a picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband. So at least we have that to go on. All right, let's go to Granville. Yeah, this looks awesome. This art style is amazing. Granville. Yo, they, I love a good pixelated art style, especially you know, when it's smooth like this. Dang, this is beautiful. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Squirrel. <laughs> Yo, old man. Uh, I guess I'd, I could lead just straight up with, have you seen this guy? Or, you know, take it a little bit easy and go like, how's it going? Just hanging, what's up with you? Jacking someone for a case. Okay, now we're talking. What'd the guy do? Murder? Arson? <laughs> Nothing as bad as her crime against fashion with that jacket. Uh, he's just missing. Man, that's a letdown. Who's the chump? That's under client detective confidentiality. Ooh, tell me later then. Take a look at this guy. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had to, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. Thanks for nothing. Old shift to run. Yeah. Anatoly, what's up? Hey, if it's Mr. Howie, what a rascal like you up doing a fine evening like this? My beaver, how are Estrella and the kids? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good, great. We even bless the shepherd got up a second lad too soon. Oh, and I got a great story for you. Another. Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. As he is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her. Heh. <laughs> Woman, you get any big on you, and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> Great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? <laughs> Howie, ease up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell a story? I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? <laughs> I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I don't <laughs> I know those scrawny sorts like flashing their catch at the bite though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there, as he'd have my balls. Anyway, how are you scared off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Anatoly. See you around. Your clients are in front of a movie. Wait, let's see. What movies do they actually have? The Day I Bought a Bike, Citizen Maine, nice. Johnny and John, Don't Drive. So every day at 11 a.m. and 5 10 p.m. <laughs> Gotta talk to this one? Yeah, Rogue. They did a great job restoring the Rogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. I don't mean it depends on the kind of movies you're watching, but yeah. Canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Eh, not bad. Dr. Cyclops. <laughs> the poster. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See you tonight, only at the bite. Yep, Wolf Bank. That's what you're talking about. Wolf Bank. Is this where Green works? Yeah, that's what we were told. Talk to a banker. You folks work at the Wolf at the uh, Wolf Bank, right? So I can either ask if Jez is around or have a photo on him and just show it to them, and they might get suspicious of that. So I think just because I know his nickname, I can go with that and seem more, f more familiar. Know what I'm talking about. Oh boy. Who are you? Wallace, asshole owes me money, and I've been looking everywhere for him. Well, that comes off as too abrasive. That's too abrasive. P.I. Howard Loader. Or low tour. When was the last time you saw him? 
what you, what the ass had to do. Nothing, I just want to talk. What, he beat up his wife? Why do you think he did? Well, that lizard was eating his brains out for a while now. Do you know where he is right now? I don't give a fuck about your questions. And I sure as hell don't talk to cops to get lost. I'm not a cop. PI stands for private investigator. Hey, Jerem, don't get excited or you're looking for trouble. Are you? Because he could give it to you. <laughs> Listen, lumpy, you better split before I wash your face, righto? Jerem, have a great night. Asshole. But that does raise suspicion that he's been aggressive. Definitely wouldn't fit with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Hank. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Yo! What's wrong with being a raccoon? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's how I get my drink. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. So we can arrange something. I'm not gonna pay him off. He's not gonna he's probably not even gonna budge on that. If I can check him with the Carlos thing. Hmm. That's a big no. <laughs> Alright, jeez. Never mind. Alleyway can go there. Luscious. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror a pair of scissors and a large whiskey. My raccoon. Press control to enter crouch mode. Press control again to stand up. I don't know if I'm hiding from somebody, but... Ah, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. So can I crouch past him? Yeah. <laughs> Quico marked. Old owner is still tending to the shop. Just say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Dang, this street goes on forever. Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora and then who then puked all over my new coat. Memories. Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, six. Ah, I took you to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Yo, let's go, trash. <laughs> Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all great a parade of preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How's that news? It's the same every year. No way. The floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. How's business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety ass stands around hassling folks on all with no permit. The police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them. By the time an officer gets there, the hawkers are smoke. Damn their nimble little legs. Why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut honest businessmen like myself. They're criminals. Gotcha. I'd better go then. Yeah, you go. I'm busy. That road and hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Oh, Jerobo, you have at least one little customer. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks, something for everyone. Actually, just remember to gotta run. I'll try to come by later though. <laughs> little customer in my ass, get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Man. People just get along so well, it seems. Remember to crouch. Yep. Yo, know, people walking, thanks for the cover. Alright, let's, let's see what's in the alley. Larry? Howard? Well, I'll be damned, it's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? How you doing, old man? Call me old, you should look in a mirror. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Unless these rags don't, like they don't help my appearance any. Didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. 
Who really expects to see anyone of a note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. Happy for you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Sorry to hear it. Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Eh, yeah, like they do. What's he like? About my height, chubby, wears a green hat, or here's the photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and people talk. I think I know where to look. Or thanks, I'll catch you later. Yeah. What else we got back here? Intercom. No answer. Cool. Head on back out. At least we got some information from Larry. And I got a ticket. What do you want? I have the ticket right here. Can I get inside? Still no, don't ask again. I'm asking the third time. What do you want? I have the ticket right here. What is this? Yeah, you're a fine little fellow. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no, but thanks for a good laugh. You want to hear another joke? No, don't test my patience. A parent of raccoon walking to a bar. Fuck off! You're no fun. Bye. Can I do it again? Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. Gotta leave, but the bouncer won't let me in. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crown there. You said the guy's an otter? That's weird. You have any ideas of how I could get in? What you can do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype and shatter fang. Oh, and get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like, I don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny guy would help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. So a lot of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth. The Bear family? Crime family. Last year had the family up and died. Shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative. Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she got an ape for a lover, and that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Monkey butt. Yeah, where does the new things to shit? Though perhaps a little bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have a kind of verbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a bit more delicate way to put it. Alright, hopefully that's enough to get me to the bite, thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Alright, new objective. Find Johnny. Thankfully, I know where Johnny is. Squirrel with a coat. Are you Johnny? <laughs> Who's asking? I'm Howard Loader. Thanks for meeting you. Or pleased to meet you. Fitting name for a grown ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal, but why should I care? I'm a detective. My target is inside that club. Hmm. Doesn't like even like that. Listen, hers is the place to go for the good shit. What do you mean like that? New school jazz or the great upholstery? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. Just, just tell me with the big guy off front. That's all I'm asking. Hank doesn't let any chump in, for good reason. Say I make you simpatico, what does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. Joy lightly, punk, I would take you into an alley and fuck you up if you're not careful. See the police dog down the street? I bet Donnie would love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? Or is that a promise? I'm totally throwing him off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
fuck are you suggesting? <laughs> Look into my eyes. Listen. Yeah? Help me. Please. Or else what? <laughs> wow. I think I just confused him into submission. <laughs> That was a first. He is Johnny. Hey Johnny, well, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in, don't cause any trouble. Thanks. How that worked, I'll have no idea. <laughs> Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Renee. Well, you're unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will, though it's just an observation. Renee Wilson. Howard Lotor. Hm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Well, I'm Howard tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all, I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was, uh, it was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Cool. Hey there, you ever Eden Simmons show? Too? I'm so happy to see her live, fine. And actually, I'm actually running a sort of an errand. Or haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound, though. I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a record play for her. But just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. Makes her great. She's an incredible vocalist. She also plays everything herself, brings a record for her live shows. So talented. Have you been here before? <laughs> nah. My mom doesn't approve of the place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Funny, that's something we have in common. Oh, call to me intrigued. If not for the music, what are you sneaking around for? Can you keep a secret? Yes, sir. I'm a private investigator. I'm working a case right now. No way! Would have never guessed. What's the case? It's important. It hush hush. Even from him. Secret. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Was his hat green? Oh yes, and so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did you have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Did you see where he went? He talked to the lady in the jade colored dress and then went upstairs, I think. Thanks, enjoy the show. Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? Wow, these are three very different options. Listen, I'm looking for someone straight up with it. Well, you sure are. <laughs> Flirting with a dog, okay? Excuse me? God, I love this music. I'm looking for my friend, an otter. Have you seen him? I haven't, sorry. Alright, have a pleasant evening. I didn't think she was gonna have much to say. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here? How could I not be? We aim to please. So you work here? Sure, honey, but not for the likes of you. For the VIPs, then. For a certain class of customer, dedicated ones. What does dedication earn? You tell me, better yet, come back when you know. I'd like you to meet with a friend. How touching, are they regular? Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him, what's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could try asking the bartender, or Miss Bloodworth. Bloodworth? Is she the manager? The owner. She would know. She always does. What's she like? She's by the bar. Go ask her yourself. Thanks for your time, Miss... Call me Ingrid, Mr... Howard. Mr. Howard. Hope we see you again soon. Don't know if I should buy her a drink. Let's see what happens. 
Could I buy you a drink? If you insist. What's your poison? Surprise me. I'll try. Listen to music. <laughs> I believe that's Miss Bloodworth right there. Hmm. So we got Clarissa. Yep. You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. And I recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Nope. Just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. The feeling is mutual. So, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Ladies first. Ah, so you like to be the one in control? I can assure you, that won't work in our relationship. For her, I don't know if I can go with... Uh, going straight up with the private investigator you gig. Okay, the name is Wallace. Pleasure is mine, and what do you do for a living, Wallace? I'm a photographer. Private stuff, mostly. I appreciate creative types. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bike. Oh, well, let me see. You've got a very cozy place here. Thanks. I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience. And you really excel at it. Say, what would you say really stands out here? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything being here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? I'm just here to meet a friend. If that's so, more of a regular than you? Sure is. Always talking the place up. What's his name? If he's here tonight, I'll know. Jeremy, last name Green. Otter, boring, but nice type. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Sure, of course. Sweetheart, I don't believe you. Why would I be lying? Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. And it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Oh, I must insist. Or should I should ask Hank to insist instead. He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need, I'm blowing this joint. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Don't count on it. Larissa Bloodworth, what's your deal? Need to find another way in. How'd it go? Did you find him? Got kicked out. Ah, oh, Howard. How do you manage that? Doesn't matter. So these are the back door for deliveries, right? Now, hold up. You, didn't, you said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. Larry, something is wrong and I need to find out. You need to recommend a guest tip, but you do you. So, any other ways in? The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back, about the back door. They will earn a com box, you ring, they pick up, and if you're saying if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you. Any glue and how it could become someone they're expecting. No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code? You're the detective, not me. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Unless the old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Is there a fire escape? You can give me a lift. Nah, no fire escape, and the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you can climb first? The press stand. Whoa well, there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to Mackenzie, and proceed along the roofs. You should know that bow is kind of a dick nugget. That's the most accurate description of bow for in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Thanks for your help, friend. See ya. So the back door of the rooftop. Let's see. What are you looking at? 
Are you alright? Hmm, fine. What's to you anyway? You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Or Florence, right? Right now, attack. Never mind, listen. I just need to get into that building there. <laughs> yeah, it's that right now. Why is that funny? I don't believe you. I know what you're trying to do. But I'm not moving to you. Let me see Morosi. Just let me see Morosi. I think you've got me confused with someone else. You're not one of them thugs? I mean, you know harm. You just want to use some help. No man, Private Detective Howard Lotor. Nice meeting you. Detective, I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other out. How? I need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. I tried to go at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's in that building. They, I've been coming in for days and they say... They won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? She decides she's going to make it all on her own. Like just up in a whorehouse. Stupid. Ah, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Gray fur. Name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. I heard a single whisker on my baby's face. I swear I'm going to burn this hive to the ground. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Told her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. You said you tried the code to the intercom? I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me, I looked at the schedule. wrong schedule. Let me in. Alright, thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. The truck. The delivery truck. The door is open. Yep. No guts, no glory. Breaking. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and it smells like rust. There's a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bike Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Let's see what the newspaper says. Two new papers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading them, though. Read the headlines. September 22nd. Epidemic continues. Geezers may be spreading disease. The fact that it's September 22nd and the epidemic continues, that's a bit topical. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Where I look at the invoices. I don't know about the recording device. I don't want to try and incriminate myself. I'll leave. Package. I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match, make your own shell mix. How about it? Now, uh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salt and unsalted. Each bag is worth a half loon. But I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. I'll have one. Say, you hang around Granville a lot. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? Need to find a way to the fight? The fancy jazz bar? I see me try the front door. Yep, got kicked out through the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door. I really don't know the place very well. I'm sorry. You're going to ask something. Go ahead. Uh, why'd you get out? Sorry, kid, but it doesn't concern you. Of course, sir. Can I offer you some seeds? No, thanks. Then I get the 
Yep. Got the seeds. Back so soon? What now? Hope you can help me out. I don't know. I'm quite busy. It'll take a minute. I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. You know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? What if I could offer something in return? Now that you mention it, maybe you can help out with the little issue I've been having. Spill it. You need that seed selling Pika Hoffer, a hawker off Granville. Can you do that? Sorry, who? That stinking Pika with the cart. By the clothes store. He's just a kid. Why is he a problem? This broken on the wheels. Doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He sells his nibbles dirt cheap and poaches my business. So what do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent off Granville. Can you take care of that? It's not really my style, though. Scratch, back, mine, yours. That's what it's gonna take. I mean, I'll tell Sydney, just, you know, go to a different street. Hey there, back for more? Hey Sid, not quite. I have a strange favor to ask. What's up? Can you leave Granville, at least for tonight? Uh, I'd rather not. The thing is, Granville's a great sales spot this time of night. Bo wants you off his... turf. Oh well, of course he does. He thinks your rivals. Well, screw him. What did he promise you? Remember asking about the bite? What's that got to do with anything? Found a way, but Bo won't let me go through until you leave. Righto. I have a business proposition for you. What if we got rid of Bo instead? How about no? You got a solo permit? Why do you want to know if you're not a cop? Allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to make a living here. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm just looking out for you. By bullying me? Just warning you, you're making enemies. My mom didn't raise me to just be scared of people like you. You better start moving. Now. I'll move for now, but you'll be a bully forever. Shepherd knows. Kid, I was trying to be nice. You ready to stay off Granville for a while? Agreed. You suck up at your anything he's back tomorrow with the pensions. You're useless. I did what you asked. I'm not a mind reader. Fine, go on, don't slip. Don't mind if I do. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it. Our benefits are risking your life on race select like rooftops. Don't mind me, boys. It is a very beautiful landscape that they've made here. But you could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Alright, Green. After all that, you better be in here, you bastard. Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turn it back now. What do we got? Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they give you a day off. Margot Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady, not really my type though. Nicely wrapped gift. Using a mind camera for a second newspaper. Let me pop some out like Pop's candy. but it seems like this is Rose's table. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this. No. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fellow. Or anything else? Nope. 
press control to crouch. Man, we can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Way ahead of you. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one room. Jez might be there. Almost already bad. <laughs> yeah, keep on going. <laughs> ah. Maybe unless something behind they can help they can help Odette. Painting. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How'd it get there? Did I have that tie now? Wait, the, the secret lift. Ooh. Green hat, green hat. Green must have been here now. Where's the rest of it? Herbs. This monkey butt really does sting like a butt. squeeze into it. Not that particularly I want to, but I can't afford to be busy. Let's go. I think we're in a looking furnace. Why are they burning in here? Oh dear. Yeah boy. Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I get you stealing food, I'll chop you off your grabby little fingers. There's an intercom connected to the other rooms of the building. There's a list of extensions close by. There's an order for the cider. So I think that'd be for the bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? No, just checking the connection. Wait, what? Who is this? Down oh, in the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? That's Greg. No, I'm not making you a snack. It's Greg stuck in the freezer again. The love of how? I'll be there in a second to kick your ass. Seen by the guys with big knives. It smells delicious though. Distraction. Perfect. Okay. Some kind of a locker room. Better keep moving. Gregory, maybe you could keep your pee papers on your locker? Maybe you. Got maps, recipes, tickets. Looks like a code there. Although, oh jeez. Got a playing card. and diamond. Another vertical one here. So looks like AV1A. Got to fit on something else that's the same size. No. Maybe this. Maybe where my partial color blindness comes into play. <laughs> Looks kind of like a red. Darker color and a white four. Okay. 
So, square, circle, diamond, triangle, maybe 1A. Triangle V1A. Well, I got that much at least. Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. Credit lift. Needs a turnkey. Code block. Oh. Is the one that was specifically just the numbers? We got five. Wait, no. We got one, four, five. That this, the, the shapes of the code. Could give it a four zero four three. Okay, okay. So the circle is four. The triangle is one. The diamond is five. So it's something four one five. Nothing with the square zero. Hey, it worked. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? somewhere. Or not. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, my 
fucking what? Dead body. The naked dead otter. Fuck me, fucking jazz. The core for offers you no help. This is jazz. Or, uh, touch it. You place a finger on the corpse is not yet dead. Try to ascertain cause of death. The body shows no obvious signs of violent death, just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe they overdosed him? Body lies there. It is there. Dead. Probably murdered. Recently. Could be next. back near the body. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ah, okay, coming. Oh, jeez. I think she's leaving that on them. Key. Turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Sorry, Jez. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. I'm gonna just sneak. Just in case Greg is still nearby. Don't want to get caught. Same after seeing a dead body. come back with this we'll be continuing on with out with uh, act two connections figure out what entirely was just going on with mr green and were they actually cutting him up but thank you all for watching and joining me after this very long hiatus like i said i'll be able to get back in the swing of things pretty soon just trying to get that ball rolling again but as I always say, thank you all for watching, greatly appreciate it. If you don't mind, please just like and subscribe right down below. Helps go to the channel and helps me at least push forward with this endeavor. My name is Alex Johnston. You've been watching my channel. Thank you all. I'll see you all in the next episode or next video. Take it easy, everyone.